Our next caller is Lex from Georgia. Hey, what's up, Lex? How can we help you? Uh, so I originally was just going to give you a little bit of my background and then ask y'all what MAPS program to get, but I got a little impatient and I went ahead and bought the starter bundle. Okay. So I'm currently doing uh, about about to go into phase two of anabolic and also doing the no six pack, uh, no BS six pack formula. Um, so I guess really my question would be how to format the the programs and so like the the foundational workouts and trigger workouts from anabolic with the no BS. And then maybe where to go from there. Yeah, that's a, okay. So I'm glad you asked that because I actually designed both programs to be work to work together, right? So in Maps Anabolic, you have the option of doing between two to three foundational workouts a week. In the No BS Six Pack Formula, uh, same thing. You can do two to three foundational workouts a week. Now the No BS Six Pack Formula for people watching focuses entirely on the core, building the muscles of the core so they're more visible, even at higher body fat percentages. Both programs also have trigger sessions on the off days. And trigger sessions are these really short, eight to 10 minute, low intensity workouts, typically done with bands or body weight. And what you're doing is just kind of trying to get a little bit of a burn, a little bit of a pump, send a small muscle building signal. So a lot of people ask this question, how do I do both programs? Well, here's what you do. You alternate the foundational workouts of each. So Monday, MAPS Anabolic Foundational Workout. Tuesday, No BS Six Pack Foundational Workout. Wednesday, MAPS Anabolic Foundational Workout, and so on. Then on the foundational workouts days of MAPS Anabolic, you do trigger sessions from the No BS Six Pack Formula. And on the foundational workout days of the No BS Six Pack Formula, you do trigger sessions for MAPS Anabolic. So every day or most days, you're doing a foundational workout from one of the programs and trigger sessions for the other program. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, definitely. I, so I've been doing, uh, I would say, a version of that. Um, I, I have too many questions if that's okay. Yeah, go for <laughs> it. <laughs> um, so one would be, so like today, uh, I did... Um, a foundational anabolic workout in the morning do and, and then this evening I'm gonna do one trigger session from the no BS do you, would that suffice yeah for the day oh yeah no that's good uh, that's absolutely great at least one trigger session a day right on those off days is good now you can do up to three and I'll I, I can't stress this enough and I, I tell people this all the time and I really think people overlook this aspect of especially maps anabolic the trigger sessions, especially when you do them frequently, two or three times a day on the off days, make a huge difference. It's like a turbocharger to your body. So mess around with that a little bit. So what you might do is MAPS anabolic foundational workout in the morning, and then at the end of it, do a little trigger session for the No BS Six Pack Formula. And then in the afternoon, do another trigger session from the No BS Six Pack Formula. And then at night, do a third trigger session. Try that out. Remember, keep the intensity low on those trigger sessions. And then literally, not exaggerating, Lex, within three or four days, you should notice a difference in your strength and how things are feeling and looking. They're that effective. So give that a shot. It doesn't take up a lot of space and time. Like I said, they're about eight minutes long each. You could do them kind of anywhere. See how your body feels. As far as where to go next, too, we we wrote them in in this order to go from anabolic to performance to aesthetic. So that would be the ideal sequence of the program. So after you're done with anabolic, to move into performance. Yeah, absolutely. Now, do you have performance? Uh, no, I don't. I just I got the starter bundle, so it has you know great the place. nutrition. Okay, great the place to stuff. start, by the way, too. Yeah. So go buy Maps Performance. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna give. <laughs> we're gonna send that. We're gonna send that over to you for free. Okay. And I appreciate you oh. you signing up for the Starter Bundle. That's actually a great place uh, to get going. For people who don't know, the Starter Bundle includes Maps Starter, Maps Anabolic, Maps Prime, and then the Intuitive Nutrition Guide. Not, how, not how, start. Not starter. Just Anabolic and Prime. Oh, Anabolic and Prime. Yeah, That's yeah, right. Yeah. Now, how are you doing with uh, the nutrition aspect of it? Have you gotten into the Intuitive Nutrition Guide? Yeah, no, I've definitely read the whole thing. Uh, that's, to be honest with you, that's a whole nother can of worms for me. The the, sh the very short version would be that I used to do a lot of working out and high endurance, like so not for strength and and 
in a deficit all the time. So I've switched gears completely because I let you know, I'm like anybody else um, that follows y'all. I listen to y'all, you know, five hours a day, um, just catching up on all y'all's episodes <clears throat> while I'm working. But anyway, I, I'm loving the strength gains. You know, the trigger sessions do exactly what you say. I mean, y'all, y'all are 100% right on all the stuff y'all preach. The only problem I'm struggling with is because I'm eating more and doing less caloric burn type exercises. I, I had uh, a good core um, and it's starting to actually disappear, even okay. though I'm doing the stuff we just discussed. So, yeah. So my, my recommendation, and have you tracked like your, your steps by chance in the day? Do you know how, I, how much you're moving? I track everything. Okay. I'm, so give me an idea of what you're, what you're moving a day. Like what's an average day for you as far as steps? So now, since I started with y'all's programs, it's 10,000 steps. It used to be more. Um, and then, you know, depending on what I'm doing for my, I, I work on a farm. So sometimes it's heavy step day. Sometimes it's not, but definitely average is 10,000. So I lowered that tremendously. Stop doing cardio except once or twice on the weekend. So one of the, one of the, one of the things I do with a client when this happens, when we switch somebody from like moving so much and probably running and training endurance and burning a ton of calories. And then we're switching over to kind of speed the metabolism up and build muscle and they're getting the strength gains. But if we start to see that we're adding body fat a little bit faster, like I, I expect you to give a, put a little bit on, but I also don't want that to get out of control because the idea is that we, we just put lean mass on for the most part, even though it's inevitable, we're going to put a little bit of body fat on. If I get feedback from my client that it's a little more than we would like, and, and, and if I start to notice it too, then what I'll normally do is just have them either one, We'll reduce calorie. And this has to do with if I think you're in a good calorie place. So if I think for your size, you're in a pretty good calorie place, then I might restrict a couple hundred calories a day and pull back a tiny bit. If I think I want to get you up higher calories, you're still not in a good place for your size. I might add movement, but not high endurance, high, like explode, not just walking. Like I just, hey, okay, if we're averaging 10,000, let's average 12,000 steps, or let's be aware of the days that you're not working out on the farm and you're more sedentary, and let's make sure you're active on those days to make up for the discrepancy from the other days. So, those are two kind of options. Either one, we can, and you could do a blend of the two. We could go, let's just move a little bit more and then also maybe cut back a tiny bit on calories. The only reason why I don't like to cut back on calories with someone like you, if you were, you were a chronic under eater and over trainer, um, I, I don't want to go, if you're if you're under 2,000 calories, I definitely don't want you lower than that. But if you're eating 3,000 calories, I could take 200 calories a day from you and you'd be fine. Yeah, what are you at? Do you know how many calories you're eating right now? Yeah, so I, I've been trying to eat 3,000 and I believe me, I don't, I'm not one of those people that struggle to eat. I, I'm, I'm actually, the, the whole reason I'm doing kind of switching gears and doing y'all's programs and, and eating, you know, regimen is because I was hungry all the time and I just got tired of it. So I'm trying to eat 3,000, but I have those issues uh, that like I'll wake up, the scale will say something more and then I'll eat tremendously less for the, that day. Oh, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, okay, so I, I would say maybe get rid of the scale for a little bit. Um, that can mess with people's heads. So let's not look at the scale, kind of judge on how you feel, your performance. You know, waist circumference is pretty good. Weight can fluctuate quite a bit. I mean, I can gain four pounds of water in a day. Just well, especially if you're a good sized guy. If yeah. You're, I don't know how big you are, but if you're over at all 200 pounds or around there, you could easily fluctuate seven to nine pounds. Oh, yeah. Down. But, you know, waist circumference, that's a little bit better. That can measure your body fat a little bit more accurately. But, yeah, don't look at the scale as much. That can mess you up because, you know, that would do that to me too in the reverse, right? I was trying to gain. It's like I found myself uh, subconsciously increasing my intake of like high sodium foods because it would make the scale go up. And like, oh, this this particular meal makes me gain weight. So, get rid of the scale a little bit and kind of listen to your body, see how you feel. And you can always cut calories down a little bit if you feel like you're putting on body fat a little bit too fast. But it does sound like you're trying to speed up your metabolism. In 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 which case, I'd say you're you're for the most part in the right direction. Can can I ask you one small question? So, if this is a three for if like my, my six slash eight pack. Yeah. I sound like an asshole, but that's what I had and it's disappearing, but the weight isn't actually changing. Like I can, all right. So I'm five, nine and I stay between one fifty and one fifty five. Okay. Um, but so the, I'm still there, but I mean, my, my core is without a doubt 
disappearing, but I feel better in other areas because because of the strength. Gain. Well, you're so also I don't know. so keep this in mind too. Okay, so uh, right away when you increase calories, you increase carbohydrates, you increase sodium. Yeah, your body's your body's naturally going to hold on to a little water. So if you're kind of hovering around the same weight. And yeah, you look a little bit softer, maybe in the midsection. I would guess that that a lot of that is just a little bit of water retention. That you're, I bet you, if I just made you not eat for two days and pull back on water, I bet that those abs would pop right out. And that normally tells me that you're just kind of holding on to a little bit of extra water based off the probably the carb intake, sodium intake, and water you're intaking. Are you stronger? Uh, definitely. Well, the the thing is, I didn't do legs. Uh, for a, a long time because of injuries and stuff. And not only am I doing it now, but it's, you know, the, the lifts y'all love, which is the compound lift. So I'm starting to lose sort of, you know, some of the mushiness from, you know, my stomach down and starting to gain muscle really quick. I mean, it's only been two and a half weeks. Oh, dude, you're on fire, yeah. bro. Especially yeah, yeah. if you're stronger, you're yeah, kicking you're, ass. You're doing good. And, and if Trust you had the process, and you said you had like an eight pack, like you were shredded. I mean, yeah, I got down to like I said, I was I was you know always eating in a deficit, and you know I I've gone through all those problems that you know a lot of people on your you know that y'all talk to orthorexia, body dysmorphia. I'm trying to improve. Oh, dude. But get, maybe maybe get, maybe send Sal a naked picture in his DMs. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. I don't know. He's always trying to get that. For, listen, uh, you're One you're of going. These times it'll happen. You're going in the right direction. Now that you said that, it may, everything's starting to make sense. Get rid of the scale. Stop obsessing about your your eight pack that you were shredded before. You probably need to gain a little bit of body fat to gain muscle and strength. Stop weighing yourself and see if you can move in the direction of focusing on performance. It's going to direct you much better than looking at your abs and weighing yourself on the scale. Yeah, get strong, man. You're doing good. Gotcha. Well, appreciate that. No problem. Um, we'll send Maps Performance over to you. Uh, thank you so much. And I know y'all are busy people and. I'd love to give a whole speech, but um, I basically just want to say that y'all do so much for people all the time. I mean, you've already done so much for me already. Um, anyway, I long story short, I'm a citrus farmer here in Georgia, and uh, we have eight different varieties of citrus, and come harvest time this fall, if y'all are cool with it, obviously I can talk to y'all later. I'd love to send y'all a box of fruit. Oh, hell yeah. Since yeah. Oh, I love that. Let's do it. Especially citrus. You're talking to an Italian, you know, son of immigrants. Are you kidding me? So, it, it, <laughs> by the way, thanks for what you do. You know, the work that you do, I mean, you, you feed, you help feed the country. So, uh, I appreciate what you're doing as well. All right. Well, thank you. No problem. Thanks, Lex. All right. Thank y'all. It's like the, the mind games. That's the big thing. Well, that's so kind many of the, people. the theme today, right? The yeah. theme has been kind of that. It, it sounds like we've had several people that are actually doing pretty damn good. Exactly. I mean, that, it's crazy, right? He's only two weeks in, feeling stronger, already noticing. Legs putting, are building. Yeah, legs are building, but because you got a little bit of. They just don't have the right people around them, you know, convincing them that everything's going well. Yeah, yeah. and if you take somebody, by the way, too, who's walking around with an eight pack, I've talked about this before on the show. Like when you get really, really lean like that, the the slightest adjustment or change in calories, water, anything like that oh, would yeah. completely yeah. change. It's crazy. Dude, how much. you go up, you if you're six percent body fat and you go up one percent body fat, it's noticeable. It's drastic. You're yeah. at twelve percent body fat, you go up one percent, you can't even tell. Yeah, right? and they, and that keeps getting it's more you know, you're at fifteen percent and you change two or three percent and you can't even really tell. Exactly. He just started transforming to, you know, a whole different direction. So, you know, he's gotta yeah. give himself some time to really like, you know, adapt and stuff. Yeah, no, he sounds like he's doing great. It's just exactly what Sal alluded to. I mean, a lot of this is up in your head. I mean, you you're gonna have a little bit softer of a midsection. You increase calories like that and you switch from burning as much as you were burning for sure but totally sounds like he's doing great Especially, and that's where i want someone to be right so uh, he's actually in the perfect place that i want a client in yep. his situation yep. is i don't want the scale to move gain my, yeah weight, yeah but. i don't want our weight to really move you're much, stronger but we're stronger adding more calories and you're moving less holy are you kidding me yeah, yeah. like that is like it's the, all gonna happen that means we're like literally right on track we just got to be patient